Good morning, Soul Family. Tracy here with Sweet Spot E Magazine. Thank you so very much for the subscribes, the likes, the shares, comments, views. I appreciate them and keep those comments comments coming. We're going to jump in. We're just going to find out what the message is that Spirit has for both of us. I've already prayed over the cards. I've already meditated. Bottom of the deck. We're protecting ourselves. We're doing what we got to do. We're making sure that no one is able is going to do anything that we've already come through. Because we've already fought the fight, the good fight. And we've already broken through to the clarity, to the sun. It's like we we figured out who we needed to leave. We bossed up, thought about those those alliances, those relationships, those friendships that we have, and who's doing what. We've even dealt with how we were really just kind of holding ourselves back. You know, how we were asking, but not trying to really do anything that we had to do to manifest it. We are just asking. What's the message, Spirit? What's the message? It's a lot. That's some more. That's quite a bit. I'm not going to take all of this. It's quite a bit. What's the message? Thank you. Ace of Inspiration and the Eight of Inspiration. Something about a good idea. Something about a really good idea and putting action behind it. Action, communication, something about you thought about it, you thought about it, you thought about it, and you decided that you were going to go ahead and do it. it. has something to do with some type of communication, forward communication. Like I said, You've already done the hard work. You've already protected yourself. You've already learned how to defend yourself. And right now, <clears throat> the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. You, This is you on top. So there was a story that, that needed to be shared or told or said. either about you and who you are now and how you found yourself or is about who you pre somebody who presented themselves to be one way but was really they presented themselves to be one way but was really another way see in this picture right here she's smiling but right here she's not it's like they presented themselves to be one way, but they're really another way. Or this could be you. Maybe people see you as this. What they call that resting bitch face. But you're really a really nice person. You really smile a lot. You really have are thankful for a lot. It's just something about your confidence. Something about your voice. Something about how you can bring it all together. And it's like maybe how you present it. 
And it's almost like how you can make someone feel like at at peace. Something about somebody had an idea and they went for it. And it's all those cards that came out in the beginning. And I said, this is too much. I'm putting all this back. They're all coming back out. Seven of materials, the star and the four of voices. It's like this is somebody that has built themselves up. And it's taken some time. It's taken some time, but now they see the worthiness. How much value they have and how much value they hold. And, and, and people like this about this person because this person is able, is one of those people that's like a forward thinking, a forward thinking person. This person can see what others cannot see. And it's like they put their mind, it's this person is able to put other people's minds at rest because they're, they were like able to see what someone else was not able to see. Something about their, something about a, I'm like, grand intuition. It's like, this person has learned the lessons in one lifetime that others learn in 10 lifetimes. So maybe that's why this person's intuition is extremely heightened because like I said I heard grand intuition what's the message what's the message Yeah, something about their strength. Everything that they've had to endure. But it was the strength, it was the lessons, it was everything that they had to endure. All of, oh my gosh, this five of wands card flipped over here. I tried to pick it up and then it flipped over here. Like, They've had to endure conflict from the Ruta to the Tuta, from the left all the way to the right, from, from the beginning all the way up until now. Something about this card and this conflict, they've had to endure a lot. They've had to grow through a lot. Can't make this up. And these were face down. They've had to grow through a lot. Someone had they they've been on their they've been on their own path for quite a while. For quite a while they've been on their own path. And while they were on their own path, this is them. And this is everybody else putting all of these obstacles, all of these trying to make it hard for them. Trying to make it difficult for them. The person who did this truly had no idea what it was that they created for themselves. All of the heartbreak, all of the stress, all of the sleepless nights that they worked so hard to create for someone else. Someone is experiencing that same 
if not more, if not worse. And it's almost like they cried out to God with the King of Swords, them crying out to God, and then them finding out that really God turned to deaf ear. God said, why would I come to save you when you plan this for somebody else? Why would I come to save you when you plan this for someone else? So everything that we plan for someone else, we have to remember it comes back on us. This is just the same thing that I think that we had last yesterday and the day before and the day before and the day before and the day before that. Yeah. Someone wasn't thinking. They definitely weren't thinking. They thought that they could do all of this mind fuck shit to somebody else. Nobody would ever know. No one would ever find out. No one would be the wiser. How they could create an imbalance in someone's relationships. They were going to do this behind the scenes. Nobody would know. Nobody was going to find out. But somebody found out. Not only did this person, this, this Queen of Swords, find out. Doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign. It could just be somebody who's in that energy. Not only did this person find out, this person spoke about it. This person brought all those lies to the light. Put it out there. What else, spirit? But says somebody, they made a move. They finally made a move. We have the three immaterials, the high priestess, and the empress. Yeah, someone has made a move towards this empress who may also be a high priestess. They're ready to collaborate, whether this is working together, you know, uh, whatever. But someone made a move. They they sent out some type of communication. I feel like, you know, maybe someone is, is in hopes of establishing a relationship that maybe they felt was not ever there. Yeah, it's almost like there was some type of relationship it was not ever there. But it's like this this is this is that relationship coming to fruition. Yeah, it's almost like someone felt like they were left out in the cold, you know, they maybe they didn't belong, they were left out in the cold or whatever, to some type of home family situation for a long time. But I feel like that, that situation is over because now there's some, some type of communication that's leading, leading to a new path. And that's the truth. This is victory. This is answering that. This, this is that prayer being answered. What else, Spirit? What else?
Anything else from this deck? Spirit is a lot. Spirit is guiding someone. Spirit is carrying someone. I really do picture someone, spirit, in, someone in spirits, the palm of spirit's hand. It's like carefully carrying this person and placing this person right here. It's like just a gentle motion. And this is justice. This is like this brand new beginning that this person wanted. This is justice. This is this person being able to walk away from what did not serve them, leaving that toxic, you know, where they felt like they had to defend themselves all the time. If it wasn't one thing, it's another. There was like, a lot of confusion, a lot of emotional games and manipulation. Feel like people are sitting there trying to scrutinize someone. But that's over. That's done with. Let's see if there's anything from the Kipper. We have message of concern at the bottom. What's the message, Spirit? Something to have to do with this mature woman. Maybe this mature woman was some type of false person. Could be some type of false person that, you know, you live with, you grew up with, you around or something. What's the message? And maybe something about this main male that could be in the same house. Or these two are working together because there's two people in this card and one's running the show and one is just doing whatever this they're told. What else? Maybe these two are secretly having this relationship. One is older, one is younger. Maybe they're having a secret relationship, but something about it, it's concerning now. Because something has come out. Something has come out that's definitely the truth and cannot be hid. And so someone is expecting their, their lies to come out. Someone is expecting this. What else, Spirit? What else? Anything else? Yeah, can't make this up. Someone is concerned that this secret relationship that they had is coming out. And it's definitely coming out. It's going to be broadcast. Somebody could be taken to court for for it because it's like they were trying to steal something from a child. Or they were trying to steal somebody somebody's idea. Somebody's inheritance. They were trying to steal something. And that's why they got this message of concern. They're real concerned. Especially after they got that message. Because that was the first card that we saw. Someone was concerned. Yep. And they are all 
in their head. All right, y'all. Today, tomorrow, short videos. Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to try and record, but you know, I'm moving. So I got to go ahead and move and get it together. But please subscribe if you have not already done so. I thank you so very much for your support and your well wishes. And I'll speak with you a little bit later.